I don't think any totalitarian country is going to kill a single person because of global warming. Just as global warming is the latest thing, but there's been all sorts of other environmental catastrophes that have been issues well, let's all talk around about the world. DDT. And How many people no died? totalitarian country that I know of has killed people as a way of reducing environmental harm. Well, let's, let's, let's just talk about DDT. What we just said, we, we rushed to judgment back in the 60s. We stamped out DDT. What was the result of that? The result of that is over a million deaths a year in sub-Saharan Africa because we banned DDT. But not because any totalitarian country decided to kill people. The intent as a method of whether it's well, it was our government. That would never our, it was our intergovernment panel that. Well, that's like saying if I can take away people. if I take away food from you and you die of starvation, I didn't kill you. Okay, we took away their way of protecting themselves. We said the only way that you're going to be able to afford to wipe out malaria, which is by the way what we did. Once we wiped out malaria, suddenly we decided to ban it for the rest of the world. So what? The Africans pay the price? That to you is, whether it's a totalitarian government or not, the end result has been 34 million deaths due to malaria that could have been easily prevented. I'm not going to sit back and watch these environmentalists simply say, let's ban DDT, let this uh, the third world well, die, you and I don't DDT, care. But look at how many environmental catastrophes have been devastating to people's lives. They killed 34 lots of people. million people. That killed oh. 34 million people? 30, Short. Well, yeah. From DDT? DDT. One a year from since it was banned. No, no DDT. They, 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 when they, when they banned DDT, you have a million deaths a year. From it was malaria? banned 34 years ago. From malaria, a million a year. Well, I don't know. Someone said you could drink DDT. Yeah, matter of fact, when they used to tea, the, the one professor who they, there's a there's a story about the professor who used to come in and eat a teaspoon of DDT when you were when, during World War II when you went in for your for your thing they used to cover you with DDT to cover to splash you off. The one professor, like I said, eats it. More importantly, is if you look at the research on DDT, you know they they always claim that what it did was it, it thinned uh, eggs. Okay, well it turned out that uh, the pheasant eggs that had their thinned eggs, they had a higher survival rate. So, okay, maybe it did thin your egg, but there's, there was a higher survival rate. And so, so, so Rachel, what was the problem? Rachel Carlson, that Silent Spring was baloney? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it was all based on junk science. And when they went back to try to reproduce the experiments, they couldn't do it. And like I said, the one, the one experiment when they used pheasant eggs, they did find what eggs they did find thinning in had a higher survival rate. And yet we, we sacrificed a million people a year due to malaria. I just find him very convincing. Well, I, I made five million dollars listening to a guy similar to him, so I, I liked it. So, but you're good at talking. You're good at well, lecture or whatever. Well, that's what that's why I enjoy doing this. Too, well, yeah. I, well, I like I'm this give and take about stuff I know more about. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have a nice man. Well, that's why I like this give and take can, because can this is what I really like. Can you go through more slides?